Hey, so today I wanted to talk about one of the newer features in PCDMS called Copy Paste Parameters. This was introduced in 2014 and it's a very useful tool. So what do I mean by a parameter? So there's two types of parameters I'll talk about today. We have feature parameters and we have dimension parameters. An example of a feature parameter would be number of hits, depth of hits, avoidance move on or off, avoidance move distance, uh, stuff like that. So those are parameters that are common to all of the feature types. A dimension parameter would be units of measurement, for example, or tolerance values. So I'll, I'll provide an example of each. So you can see my program here. I'm just going to switch it to summary mode. So you can see I have about 16 vector points. Scroll down there. I've got 16 location dimensions and then just four circle, uh, four circle features. Okay, so let's work with the vector points right now. So what I'll do is I'll right click and select edit. And we'll have a look there. So you can see my avoidance move is off. So I may have done that by accident. And what I need to do now is to turn that avoidance move on for all of my 16 points. So instead of going in and editing each one, what I'll do is just edit the first one to both. So we have 10 millimeter avoidance move for both before and after. So what I wanted was that avoidance move to be before and after the measurement of the feature. And I need to apply that to the rest of the, of the points. Okay, so I'll just say okay to that. So what I'll do now is just right click the feature, copy the parameters so you can see the keyboard shortcut, Control alt c and next I'll highlight the rest of them, right click and now paste parameters or Control alt v on the keyboard. There we go. So let's open the second one, look at the properties, so now you can see that is applied to that feature as well. So it's a, a big time saver. So this also applies to dimension. So let's open up a dimension here. So let's right click, edit. So we'll focus on the tolerance values and also the unit of measurement. So I have a tolerance of plus or minus 50 microns and we're measuring in millimeters. So let's close this and I'll just show you this applies to all of them. Right click edit. So you can see that 50 micron plus and minus tolerance and we're measuring in millimeters. So what I want to do is change the tolerance. So I'll just I'll just open that first one. So I want to change the tolerance for all of them and I also want to measure in inches. Okay so let's do that then I'll copy and paste those parameters. So let's switch that to say 0.127 microns plus and minus and also we'll measure it inches so you can see it's five thou five thousandths of an inch plus and minus and I want to apply that to all of them so I'll press create close and just to show you I'll open up the second one right click edit so you can see the second one is in millimeters and it's still that plus or minus 50 micron value Okay, so let's go ahead and copy those parameters. Highlight, highlight the rest. Right click, paste parameters. There we go, so let's see if that worked. So open up the second one, right click edit. There we go, so you can see now we're in inches and the new tolerance plus or minus five thousandths of an inch is applied to that one as well as the rest. So it's a really quick shortcut. So another parameter we can change or modify is the uh, number of hits on a circle or uh, depth of hit, anything like that. So I'll right click and edit so you can see my auto circle is open. So I have seven hits and you'll see I have that for each circle. So right click edit. So that's actually 12 hits. So it doesn't matter. What I want to do is make them all the same. So I just want to reduce the number of hits. I could even change the depth and apply that as a pasted parameter as well. So let's just work with uh, circle one. So what I change on circle one, I want to change on all of them. 
So let's keep it simple. We'll just do four hits at a depth of three millimeters. So I'll click OK to that. Copy those parameters and paste them to circle two, three, and four. Paste parameters and let's see if that worked. Right click edit. There we go. So now we have the same amount of hits and the exact same depth for all of our circles. Okay, so that's it. So I just wanted to quickly show you that new feature, relatively new, introduced in 2014. So if you've kept up to date with your software updates and upgrades, uh, you'll be able to use this. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.